Um, the first question is, why do you want to be mayor and what are your three top goals for the first year? Mr. McKinney will answer first, then Mr. Smith and Mr. Thornton. No. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. As she mentioned, I'm Jimmy Dawson McCamey Jr. I'm from the Grange, born and raised. I'm a product. I see some of my teachers here. So I'm overjoyed to see some of these faces I haven't seen in 20 years. I would like to be mayor because of my qualifications. My qualifications fit the needs of this community. I think most of you guys know that we're at a time here, not only in the Grange, but in America, that we need leadership that's empathic, sensitive, and willing to bring people together. My experience and expertise in social welfare, social welfare policy, and social concerns make me a great candidate for this position. I believe that I can unify the city. I can bring District 1 and District 2 together to work on very important issues. Uh, I know tonight is poverty uh, initiative. I think we need to work as a community, both District 1 and District 2, to address these issues of poverty. I have three important goals uh, that are at the top of the list. I have quite a few goals for the city, but the three most important goals is economic and community development for all of the range. Again, I want to work with District 1 and District 2 to bring economic development and community development so we can work together as a team. Number two is shared governance and inclusiveness of all citizens of the range. I would unite the people from all walks of life to work together for the common good of all citizens. I've been back now over a decade, and I still see pockets of our community that is very separate and very um, distant from one another. As your mayor, I will work digitally to make sure that we work together as a team. The third one is education and public safety for all citizens. I will work in collaboration with the Chamber of Commerce, public and vocational schools, colleges, to improve our education system here in LaGrange. I would streamline the police department. There have been a lot of complaints uh, with our police department. I think we have uh, accreditation, great standards, but I would like to work with the police department to ensure that we have citizens who feel that they can trust the police department. I would work diligently to bring those areas together for our citizens. When you vote for me, <clears throat> you vote for yourself. I will be the voice of the people. Thank you. All right. I'm Mike. This is my brother Jimmy. This is my other brother Jimmy. <laughs> for mayor um, and I want to thank y'all for having this event um, I am a humanist and I believe I have the right and the responsibility to make this a better place without any help from a deity uh, that's something that humans can do and it's something we should do I'm not a politician I'm not an activist I am an activist not a politician and I really don't have much interest in being mayor that's not my goal. I want results. The problem is, I don't think either one of these gentlemen are going to bring the kind of results that uh, McGrange needs. Uh, the reason is, uh, one of them is uh, the, the candidate of the ruling class. And that class is not going to allow any change. The other is a candidate who is mad at LaGrange, and I don't think that's really a good basis uh, to be mayor. Uh, so I would uh, like to see changes uh, in, uh, first of all, I'd like to see uh, public transportation here in the Grange. Uh, we need public transportation. Uh, we can afford it. LaGrange has $40 million in surplus. That's a, I didn't realize that until till I began uh, my research, but that's a lot of money we can used to help people that live in LaGrange. Uh, we need that much more than we need this uh, fancy hotel up on the square. 
We also need a, a new approach to utilities. Right now, the city requires uh, social security numbers to get your power turned on. That's not right. They don't need our social security numbers. They also put uh, fines on utility bills. That's wrong. They also charge for treating water that, they, that we actually don't use. They never measure it. They don't know what they're doing, but they charge us for it anyway. Uh, the third thing is decriminalize marijuana. The United States has 5% of the world's population, but has 25% of the world's prisoners. And if you think about that, we've got five times as many people in jail as the average of the rest of the world. And it's all based on uh, drugs, and most of it is based on marijuana. Out of those people, for every one white prisoner, there's almost three Latinos and almost seven blacks. And it doesn't take a genius to see that this is not fair. So we can't change, change everything, but we can start here in the Grange by decriminalizing marijuana. And we need to do all three of those as soon as we can. Thanks. I'm Jim Thornton, and uh, I would like to start by thanking the Circles program for hosting tonight's forum. You know, uh, about a year and a half ago, Commission Chairman Ricky Wolf came to the City Council and asked the City Council to provide funding for the Move the Mountain Circles program, and uh, which we did, along yes, with Troop okay. County and the Callaway Foundation and, and some other organizations in town. And uh, I kind of lost track of it a little bit until I was able to attend the graduation ceremony about a month ago. And, uh, and having been able to attend that ceremony and listening to the stories of the Circles graduates really reaffirmed for me that this is a program that has the potential to really address poverty in our community. And I thank you all who are involved in that program for your work. I'm running for mayor of LaGrange because I love this city. I was born and raised here. I, uh, I went away for law school and came back 16 years ago to practice law. And I've been practicing law in LaGrange now uh, actively for, for that period of time. During the course of my time in LaGrange, I have saw opportunities to become involved on the ground level, to make a difference in our community. I became involved with United Way, with the Chamber of Commerce, with Troop Cares, with any number of other organizations that were where, where people, not just me, but lots of people like you, people were working on the ground level to try and make this community, which we are proud to call home, and which we think is a great community, to make it even better. And so from that experience that I have had working on the ground and in leadership positions, I feel like I have the ability as mayor to continue on the path of improvement, to, make, to take a great city and make it even better. My areas of emphasis, they asked us to have three goals tonight, and, and, and obviously there are more goals than that, but to enumerate three things that I would like to focus on in my first year as mayor. The first is growth. LaGrange has, uh, LaGrange has done well, and Troop County has done well, with industrial recruitment. But we need to expand beyond automobile manufacturing recruitment, and we need to recruit other industries and other jobs to this town. Because, quite frankly, we don't want to be a one-shop town. We want, and not everybody wants to work in the automobile manufacturing industry. So I would focus on recruitment of other employers and on retail opportunities. Safety is my second issue. Um, we've had too many shootings in LaGrange this year. Um, there are lots of opportunities where the police do a great job going in after the fact to investigate crime and bring the perpetrators to justice. But we've got to focus more on community policing. We've got to have police officers who their role is to be out in the community and to be known in the community and to work on crime prevention. Finally, fairness. I want to be known as a mayor who embodies fairness. That to me means openness, being willing to listen to anybody. It doesn't mean always agreeing, but it means treating everybody with fairness. And those are my goals. Thank you. 